Hey guys, Richard and Ryden's Room here doing my latest review. Um, this is for the Star Wars New Jedi, Jedi Order book that I've just finished uh, a couple of days ago, Star by Star. Now this is a um, big book, 600 pages. Um, it wasn't just reading at work, there's a lot of reading from home as well. Um, so yeah, first of all, spoilers for pretty much the entire EU. I mean, I'm not going to mention every single part of it, but anything up to this book could come up. So just to be warned. Um, and then, um, I'll probably find a few references to the current Star Wars films, but yeah, nothing after Star by Star. Like I always say, I've not seen anything later on. I pretty much know nothing about little things. I try and forget, if possible, try and tune out little potential spoilers. But yeah, it only goes as far as this. So this is book nine of the New Jedi Order. And I've got to admit, 600 pages. Why didn't they for like half it? Um, it works well enough as one big massive story, but because then you've got all these other ones, um, but two and three were two part, for example. There's there's no harm in it, but oh, I suppose plus twenty books would have made made more sense than nineteen. I don't know. <laughs> Who cares? I guess. But yeah, um, it's a bit daunting when you're looking through it and you realize how big it is. But no, I enjoyed it. I mean, I got through page three hundred. It's clear the story wasn't over. So yeah, it's uh, it's fine. So yeah, and then the next book is Dark Journey, which is uh, book 10 in the series, and again, only about, yep, 300 pages just over, so that's fine. So yeah, uh, on to this book. So this book follows on from the last one. Um, the main thing is it's kind of back to cloning again, like Thrawn's cloning tanks in the Empire trilogy. Basically, the using Vong, <laughs> the Jedi Republic are not handing over the Jedi that they seem to want, so they've just cloned these I think, Vosker creatures. Basically, in for the Ancient Empire Thrawn trilogy, the Yaslami, whatever pronounced, were they're the creatures that could like block the Force. Um, their natural predators use the Force to hunt them, and that's how you see how that species evolved. So they see hide their sense uh, presence in the Force completely. But yeah, these things are set loose on the galaxy to hunt Jedi down and. I do manage to kill several. So yeah, the uh, main plot of this film is film. <laughs> it would be a great film, but no main main plot of this book is that Anakin and several of the other younger Jedi realize oh, they've got to stop this. You know, um, they the investigation takes a while. They eventually discover that the you know from uh, the Mon Calamari Jedi Seal Seagal. Yeah, oh, she's great. She's officially Jedi Master, going by the. Uh, Lists in these books, they have like a bunch of the characters in there. Even Kip is officially Jedi Master, but they never actually say that. So I don't know if that happened in a short story or something. Yeah, the guy deserves Jedi Master status, but it's not quite like the uh, prequels where they've like passed Jedi trait, Jedi trials for night, and this is a rare kick, you know, circumstance like killing Sith Lords, um, or they're just a point, and then Jedi Master is basically an appointment that the uh, Chancellor of the Republic can try and offer out. But no, it's generally based on the Jedi giving it that. You never see Luke handing out the official rank of Jedi Knight, Jedi Master, after Jedi Pad 1, but presumably it's handed with Kip and uh, Seagal off screen sometime, or oh, off page. <laughs> but um, yeah, eventually they discover that all of the creatures are being cloned through one of them, and they work, they manage to trace it. And a group, small Jedi team, about maybe 10 or so, like volunteer to go in and like, kill the mother because she's the only one that can be cloned and she's got this stopped and it's really, yeah all the Jedi agree you no know, Luke says we've got to do this and yeah Anakin Jason Jaina um che Chewbacca's cousin Lobacca is a Jedi which is pretty cool uh he's in there with like a translator droid there's a few other ones like Tahiri you know, Anakin's uh girlfriend and they go in and it's a vicious mission you know they uh have to go in you know armed with guns you know their lightsabers everything and yeah, one thing that seems a bit strange is how Yuuzhan Vong don't seem to be as lethal anymore. I mean, maybe it's just in the earlier ones. It was only because it was like the heads that you saw, in, you know, the very strongest fighters, the ones that like Corrin, Anakin, Jason, etc. had difficulty fighting. A lot of these go down very, very easily. It seems to be on strength of numbers as well. And I think it's really a case of not all Yuuzhan Vong are really that strong in fights. You know, the very best ones we've seen, most of them are dead. Um, there's Nomen or the War Master and no doubt loads of others. Uh, yeah, they do seem to cut through these ones really, really easily. Um, but of course, there's so many, the mission takes so long, plenty of Jedi get killed. There's even a couple of Dark Jedi there. Again, this, I think this is Young Jedi Knights series. I don't didn't know how these two random Jedi turn to the dark side, but they use them anyway. They, of course, abandon the Jedi. It's uh, pretty low. And... Yeah, I'll get to the biggest spoiler of all. Um, not everyone makes it out, and it's actually a major character. Anakin Solo is killed. It's uh, yeah, it didn't hit me quite as hard as it did for Chewbacca. I mean, Anakin is just a much major character now, although back in book one, I'd only really read a few of them, um, like the Corellia trilogy, when 
and then like the um what the thorn yeah thorn ones when they're very young and what else did we have ah yeah i think of i jedi where they're older and then jedi academy as well of course but yeah but of course that was then and now they've got anakin jason jenner have loads and loads of books and yeah it's pretty sad but it's kind of amazing how it happens like jason uh, anakin knows why he's there they've got who killed the uh yos uh Vosimir queen no matter what and they're just completely surrounded by enemies he effectively gives himself over to the force completely and becomes this like pure light being and yeah he just destroys the cloning facilities that Nominor's got all of his like supplies to create millions of those creatures are destroyed but it kills him as good as Anakin is with the force and how he easily becomes the strongest Jedi he'd ever lived and it, unlike say Anakin Anakin like Darth Vader he doesn't seem to be like he could push him to the dark side no he seems like he could be matched on like Yoda or uh, even from what I hear Luke eventually for sheer power and skill but yeah it's quite sad but it's really well done he just sacrificed himself for this greater cause he knows what he's got to do and he, effectively it works they you know destroy all these Zambong that are there um although nominal gets away again which is really kind of kind of annoying i mean i thought i'm gonna like, defeat him he ha basically drops this grenade on him but no it's just it destroyed his work which is good but nominal i get the feeling these Zambong are just gonna have him killed so i mean the warmaster's like totally lost like all patience in him and yeah it's pretty sad and yeah, this is actually quite a surprising bit. Uh, Jaina completely loses it. I mean, she hates these Zambong for the amount of, like, co-pilots she's had that have been killed, and this just pushed her over the edge. She properly embraces the dark side, and she uses Force Lightning, like, burns a hole through the warrior's chest, and then even this uh, Nominal has this, like, familiar, and she tries to, you know, stop her, but she's got some level of, like, Force power. But yeah, Jaina's not, like, cast the Force Lightning and stops and hollow. No, she's all for it. So, yeah, this is great, and by the looks of it, as Dark Journey, the next one. I thought at first that's Mara Jade. I know the eyes aren't green, but I thought just the lighting with all the pink and everything, and that was her hair was purple. But no, that's actually Jaina. I guess it's just the lighting that's made her hair look a bit red, because I'm pretty sure her hair's supposed to be brown like Leia. I mean, it mentions that she looks like she did at that age. But yeah, I'm looking forward to that. So, and the other one, of course, uh, the, yes, basically, so that's half the book. The rest of it is like space battles. Yu Zambong attacking Coruscant. They seem to have given everything to take it, and they manage it. They, they win. <laughs> um, they take Coruscant, their Imperial Palace, or as it still seems to be known for some reason, you know, falls, uh, falls failure, you know, officially surrenders and tries to kill their leader, but sets off this, like, weapon. And at the same time, and kills, I think it's 25,000 New Zambong. It's great, but I'm sure there are plenty more on the planet at the time. So, yeah, I'm looking forward to seeing what happens to that. You know, Coruscant isn't, you know, the galaxy, there are other planets, but that's going to hurt. But I don't think New Zambong want Coruscant to, like, use it as their main base because there's like billions of life forms in there that they plan to kill and sacrifice but yeah it's uh that's got great potential for the next books um well dark journey might just be jane the story not carrying the story who knows because of that it's uh another two-parter rebel stand and rebel dream aaron allison who does the like pilot books and then later new jedi order so yeah i look forward to that so yeah anakin's gone jane is well you know potentially turns to the dark side and jason's been taken prisoner and yeah, Coruscant has fallen. You know, they New Zambong tried to get Ben so that Ben Skywalker, but failed. So yeah, that's it. I don't want to go into too much detail on this on the video. I know they go on and on, and it could bore you. But yeah, that's it. Really love this book. Uh, I had a feeling we'd lose one of the solo children, but yeah, halfway point. I just thought it'd be near the end, maybe, but it's not. But yeah, that's it. So until next time, next up another James Bond book, the last one. Then I'll be. Turn to Dark Journey, so I'll have my review up in a week or two. Right, thank you. So yeah, please like and subscribe, and see you next time. Thanks.